8 Alarming Signs of Diabetes Foot Complications Diabetes can be a silent aggressor, especially when it comes to foot health. Ignoring early warning signs could lead to serious complications that impact mobility and quality of life. This guide will spotlight 8 crucial signs of diabetic foot complications to help you take proactive steps in managing your health. Number 1. Neuropathy Neuropathy, or nerve damage, is a prevalent complication of diabetes and directly impacts foot health. High blood sugar levels over time can damage peripheral nerves, especially in the feet, leading to diminished sensation. This loss of sensation means that minor cuts, blisters, or pressure points might go unnoticed, increasing the risk of infections and ulcers. Diabetics might also experience symptoms like tingling, burning, or numbness. To manage neuropathy, diabetics should maintain optimal blood sugar levels through medication, diet, and exercise. Regular foot examinations either self-conducted or by a healthcare professional are vital to detect early issues. Wearing well-fitted shoes, avoiding walking barefoot, and daily moisturizing can prevent injuries. Additionally, if any abnormalities or persistent symptoms are observed, prompt medical attention is crucial to prevent worsening complications. Number 2. Ulcers. As we continue, Please subscribe to this channel if you're finding this video helpful. Thank you. Ulcers, or open sores, are a significant indication of diabetic foot complications, often developing from unnoticed blisters or minor wounds due to reduced sensation from neuropathy. These ulcers can become deep and infected if not treated promptly. The risk is magnified because diabetes often results in reduced blood flow to the feet slowing wound healing. To manage and prevent foot ulcers, diabetics should take several proactive steps. Daily foot inspections are crucial to identify and address potential problem areas early. Proper foot hygiene, wearing protective footwear, and avoiding walking barefoot are essential preventive measures. Moisturizing the feet can prevent skin cracking but avoid putting lotion between the toes to prevent fungal growth. If an ulcer is detected, prompt medical attention is vital. Keeping blood sugar levels in check also aids faster healing and reduces complications. Number 3. Bunions. Bunions, bony protrusions at the base of the big toe, can be aggravated by diabetes due to neuropathy and poor circulation. Diabetes may lead to altered biomechanics of the foot, contributing to bunion formation. Once formed, the misalignment can cause shoes to rub against the bunion, increasing the risk of blisters or ulcers, particularly in those with reduced sensation. Diabetics can manage and reduce the risk of complications from bunions by choosing footwear with a wide toe box, reducing pressure on the bunion. Custom orthotic inserts can help distribute foot pressure evenly. Protective pads might also provide relief from direct friction. Regular foot inspections can identify early signs of complications. If the bunion becomes painful, inflamed, or leads to other foot problems, seeking medical advice is crucial. In severe cases, corrective surgery might be an option. Number 4. Calluses and Corns Calluses and corns are thickened layers of skin that form as a protective response to repeated friction or pressure. For diabetics, they pose a unique risk. Due to diminished sensation from neuropathy, diabetics might not feel the initial discomfort these buildups can cause. Left unchecked, they can progress to ulcers or become infected. Furthermore, poor blood circulation, common in diabetes can hamper the healing process of these skin issues. To prevent and manage calluses and corns, diabetics should ensure they wear well-fitting footwear that doesn't pinch or rub. Protective pads can shield pressure points. It's vital to inspect feet daily and gently use a pumice stone to reduce thickened skin after a warm bath. Diabetics should avoid over-the-counter acid treatments as they can harm the skin. 
for severe or persistent calluses and corns, a podiatrist's intervention is recommended. Number 5. Ingrown toenails. Ingrown toenails, a condition where the toenail grows into the skin of the toe, can become a significant concern for diabetics. This problem can lead to pain, redness, and infection. With diabetes, two main factors magnify the risk. Neuropathy often means decreased sensation, so a person might not detect the early stages of an ingrown toenail, and poor circulation can slow the healing process, raising the risk of infections becoming severe. To address and prevent complications, diabetics should practice proper toenail trimming, cutting straight across and avoiding rounding the corners. Wearing shoes that provide adequate toe room is vital. Regularly inspecting the feet can help detect early signs of ingrown toenails or related infections. If an ingrown toenail develops, especially with signs of infection like increased redness, warmth, or pus, prompt medical attention is essential. Number 6. Dry Cracked Skin Dry cracked skin on the feet, while common in the general population, holds particular concern for diabetics. Elevated blood sugar can lead to dehydration, making skin prone to dryness. Moreover, neuropathy can affect sweat glands, leading to abnormally dry skin. Cracks can become portals for bacteria, risking infection. Given the compromised immune response and poor blood circulation often seen in diabetics, such infections can escalate quickly and be harder to treat. To combat this, Diabetics should maintain optimal blood sugar levels. It's crucial to moisturize the feet daily with a diabetic-approved foot cream, avoiding the spaces between the toes to prevent fungal growth. Water intake should be sufficient to keep the body hydrated. When bathing, use lukewarm water and pat feet dry gently. If cracks persist or show signs of infection, like redness or swelling, Consulting a healthcare professional is imperative. Number 7. Gangrene. Gangrene is a severe and potentially life-threatening condition where body tissue dies due to a lack of blood flow or a bacterial infection. For diabetics, the risk of gangrene is magnified owing to two primary factors. Neuropathy, which reduces sensation and might delay the detection of wounds or infections and poor circulation, which can limit the blood supply essential for tissue health and wound healing. When gangrene develops, it can lead to amputation if not treated promptly. Diabetics should regularly inspect their feet for any signs of injury, discoloration, or unusual changes. It's crucial to maintain optimal blood sugar control and to seek immediate medical attention if gangrene is suspected. Preventive measures include wearing proper footwear, avoiding walking barefoot, and practicing good foot hygiene. Regular checkups with a podiatrist can also assist in early detection and management of potential complications. Number 8. Plantar warts. Plantar warts, caused by the human papillomavirus, HPV, appear on the soles of the feet and can be a significant concern for diabetics. These warts grow into the skin due to pressure on the sole, making them painful and potentially leading to changes in posture or gait. For diabetics, the real danger lies in the body's compromised ability to heal and fight infections. If left untreated, ulcers can develop beneath the warts, risking secondary bacterial infections. Coupled with poor circulation and neuropathy often seen in diabetics, Treating and healing become more challenging. Diabetics should check their feet daily for abnormalities, including warts. Maintaining optimal blood sugar control is key. If plantar warts are detected, they should avoid over-the-counter treatments without professional guidance and instead consult a healthcare professional or podiatrist for appropriate management. Recognizing the signs of diabetic foot complications early is crucial to preventing severe consequences, including possible amputation. Regular foot inspection, good hygiene, and maintaining controlled blood sugar are vital. 
with diabetes. Even minor foot issues can escalate rapidly due to impaired healing and reduced sensation. By staying informed about potential complications and seeking prompt medical attention for any abnormalities, diabetics can better safeguard their foot health and overall well-being. You might also want to watch these videos for other diabetes signs you shouldn't ignore. And please subscribe to this channel if you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching.